Morning folks, we're in we're in the brew shed this morning. Stuart says that the glass washer pump isn't emptying correctly, it's taking a long time, so I suspect we have a blockage in the pump. Generally glass washers just use a normal washing machine pump to get rid of the fluid, you know, whatever else is in there. So this morning we're gonna start by pulling the glass washer out. We're going to have a look at it and see if we can't unblock the blockage. So basically this is what we've got inside the glass washer. You have a basket to put all your glasses in, obviously. And then on the inside of that, yeah, you can see there's still some water left in there. So this tray sits on the top to catch any large particles should you get a broken glass or something. And then you have two jets top and bottom which recirculate and spray the cleaning water which stays in this tank here that's got a heating element you can just about see it I think with this light and then after that cycles complete there's another tank underneath which holds rinse water which is also heated and then that sprays up and rinses the detergent off the glasses going then into the reservoir to be used as cleaning water so the detergent and the rinse aid are recycled and then after that it will fill up obviously with a bit more water from the rinse so at the same time it will pump a little bit of water out giving you a constant turnover of water in the glass washer so you don't have to manually drain but at the end of the night uh, at the end of the night we normally drain the glass washers there's a power button so that's the drain button so you can hear yeah so looking at that there's a little air vent pipe in that top corner there you can just make it out it's dark I know so if you press the button you can see it's squirting out so that's telling me that there's definitely a blockage between the pump and the exit and the exit pipe comes down here I don't know if you can see in there it's a little dark oh there you go you can just about see it so there might be a blockage on that pipe section there. So we'll zip her off and have a look. I'm gonna to have to put the camera down for this, of course. But because it's pumping out quite firmly there, that's sort of telling me that the pump is pumping. So I think the blockage is further down the line. Well, conveniently, the blockage was at the no return valve on the outlet there. Just little bits of stalk and peel from oranges and limes which Stuart puts in in the gins. So what I'm going to do while I'm here, and that took me no time at all, is I'm going to service the jets on this. As you can see not all of them are spraying so we'll get in there, we'll just clean out the nozzles and then we'll recirculate the water a couple of times to make sure that everything is spick and span, nice and shiny and clean. Stuart generally does like a, an inside and out once a week to make sure it's spick and span but every now and then these jets pick up a bit of lime scale or something so you have to go in and poke them about maybe with the tip of a knife or something like that all done and dusted folks uh, customers so I had to put the camera away as a surprise because it's not even 12 o'clock yet but you don't turn down the loyal customers, dear. Right, I've got to go and pick Gemma up, go across to workshop. She wants to get a dress for tonight. And then we're going out with Dave and Sarah for a meal and a few drinks. So I'll probably end the vlog here and we'll see you tomorrow, folks. Cheers. Hello, everybody. I'll just you to greet me, Chance. Well, you'll do, my friend. You'll do, Chancey Pans. So